Faz, obviously um, Tuesday was disappointing. How much work has gone into putting things right? Um, I think a lot of the work was done before. I think Tuesday, I think everyone uh, involved at the club, the fans, everyone can say it was a one-off. It's disappointing. I think um, everyone in that changing room after the game was was really disappointing and was really hurt. And I think the only thing we can do now is um, just keep striving forward because I think we've shown already this season that we're a, we're a good team and and uh, we've got great players. I think uh, we're going through a tough patch at the moment, but but all the lads are behind each other, the coaching uh, the coaching staff, and everyone's behind everyone. And I can only see it going one way, and that's that's better. And McGuff has spoken about that need to stick together. Um, I suppose that's that's vital and crucial at this at this point, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And um, like I said, we've got a great bunch of lads here, and and we all get along on on and off the pitch. So um, no, I'm pretty sure we're going to stick together, and we'll. We'll grind through this tough patch and we'll, we'll come out on the, on the better side. More goals have been conceded of late than previously in the season. Can you put your finger on why? No, I just think it's, it's a collective thing. It's, it's all of us, you know what I mean? We all need to, to, to look at ourselves and, and try and improve and do better. And, uh, and, and we will, do you know what I mean? And we're going through a tough patch, like I'm saying. It's, it's, it's a tough patch, but do you know what? We're... If you're watching the games out there, you can tell that we're giving it our all. We're not giving up. We're not. We're not um, throwing our hands in the air and saying, "Oh, that's us, whatever." But no, we'll we'll, we'll keep running four 0 down. We'll keep running till to the ninetieth minute and give it our all. So, I think we've been a, a little bit unlucky as well in the past results, and and that will change. That will change the way we're playing and the way we're working in in training. Obviously, the fans and the people around can't see that, but we're putting everything into it. The, uh, the manager and everyone's uh, really working with us and really working hard and in um, my opinion it can only change it's only a matter of time until uh, we give someone a real real good item and there's been a couple of worldy strikes as well past Conrad Logan do you just have to sort of write those off almost because sometimes there's nothing you can do yeah yeah the, uh, it, like you say as a team it, it's, it's all about being hard to beat and we haven't we haven't been amazing at it recently, but I think before that we've shown we can be hard to beat. And if they're gonna score against you, it's gonna it's gonna have to be a worldie like the ones that we've had the past two games. But um, no, like I said, we've just got to concentrate on ourselves with this tough patch. Just concentrate on ourselves, which we are. And like I said, it's only gonna change. Conrad, obviously knew him behind you. Um, sounds like a talker. Sounds loud. No, he's 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 only been in for a short amount of time and. Can only say positive stuff about him. He's a he's a bit of a leader. He's a, he's really experienced. He's always talking, shouting, and with the, the young players we've got in the squad, it's it's only going to add add to us. Grimsby, obviously tough place to go. Long journey as well. They're buzzing at the moment because they've got Ian Holloway in, and he seems to be transforming the club. But how much is this the ideal game for Forest Green? I think um, it's just the next game. It's always the, it's always the biggest game. The next game, do you know what I mean? And um, no, like I said, we're, we're on a tough pass, but we're, 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 we can't wait to turn it around. We can't wait to, do you know what I mean? We can't wait to get back out there and put it wrong. I mean, put it right. We can't wait. And like I said, whoever it, whoever it was going to be on Saturday, it didn't matter. We we want to. We know what we're about. We know what the standards we have set this season and stuff, and we want to go out there and put it right. If you can do up there this season what you did at the start of last season, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, like I said, we're out there, we're working hard, we're, we're putting in the hours, putting in the shift and that, and uh, I'm pretty sure things are going to turn around. Is an away game almost a little bit easier than, than a home game? No, at the end of the day, it's, it's 11 against 11. I think we've mentioned it before, you go to the big stadiums and, and the, the big teams and that where there's a lot of crowd making noises, but it's just noise. At the end of the day, we're, we, we've gone to some big, big grounds and stuff and done really well, so... I think we're not really phased by much as a team and that, so we'll look forward to it, yeah. Thank you, good luck. No worries. Faz, on a personal note, how have you been pleased have you been with your form this season? Um, yeah, it's 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 been it's been okay, it's been alright. I'm I'm happy where I where I'm at and stuff and um like I say in with um the coaching staff that's come in at the start of this season and we're playing a lot of games and that I'm only gonna improve and get better and better. So I uh, I appreciate the faith that's been put in me and um I'm all about now. Just keep on improving. There's still loads much more to learn and that. But now, I'm, overall, I'm, I'm happy. But like I said, is I want more. I want more. Yeah. You played in front of four goalkeepers this season. How difficult is that to adapt to each goalkeeper? No, the the, 
it's been pretty easy by the, the standard of goalkeeper. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're all they're all top players. Do you know what I mean? They're all top goalkeepers, and that's why it's been so easy for them to slot in and, and do so well. And now they're all, they've all they've all been really good, and I haven't found it hard at all. No. Yeah. It was obviously a difficult night on Tuesday, but when you look at that league table, you're still three points outside the playoffs. Yeah, that's yeah. that's another positive we've all been saying, and, and, and we'll obviously we all know that we're. Lacking a bit of form at the moment, and um, but with the the form, there will be positivity coming out of it, and we will step on. and And the best thing about it, like you said, is that we're not too far away. Do you know what I mean? It's a couple of results which we know we're capable of getting. So no, it's 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 still exciting. Still a lot to play for. Yeah, just one more for me. How does it affect you as a player when you hear the fans grumbling a little bit? No, it, like I said, is course you hear them and it's a, it can get onto you and stuff but end of the day they they pay to watch us it's their club just as much as ours and and we have to accept that and we have to to do better to try and um try and get them on side but i think the fans uh would be thinking that we, we've done so well so far in the season and um i think uh they'll know we'll turn it around they know yeah all the best saturday <laughs>